Hey, I'm Kev K. I must have come. Welcome back to MotoGP 17 and the Ryder Career. So we're heading to Spain for the third time this season and the Motorland Aragon circuit. And for Patrick McDonald, this is a crucial couple of laps in qualifying. If he wants to do well this race, start right up there like he has in half the season. I think he's almost won half the races this season. He doesn't know he could have more nightmares like America. Or Qatar early in the season. So let's see what it will be for Patrick McDonald this race. A very crucial race in the context of the championship as if Kinect wins, me and McDonald could be saying goodbye to the championship this race. We're only four rounds remain, 100 points to play for. Kinect would have at least a 36 point lead. But if McDonald does well, if Mir does well and Kinect doesn't, then it's definitely game on once again. So this race could really decide the championship. So that's why Patrick McDonald's not got the mess up like that. Breaking too deep in the first part of the roller coaster. There's Aragon Circuit. Once again, a modern mixture of fast and slow. There's so many different combinations, though. With this circuit. I don't have many configurations, but for the tarmac stuff, there's also off road stuff as well. Performance centre, karting. Maybe a fantastic facility for racing. And I do love this MotoGP circuit, especially with how it ends with the flowing left-handers. As we're about to see how McDonald will tackle them as his back straight, he's got to be careful into these double lefts at the end of the race. As you saw with, Pat, with Dan McDonald previously. Elusive. Let's see if Patrick has learned anything from his old teammate. Round here, round. Very difficult circuit to get right as well with all these stops, says. Antonelli, he's still crashing. That's a 2 at 1.5, that's a decent banker, but still some way off the mark, I feel. As I actually saw a rider go off track. What the hell? Off the racing line for McDonald, that never happens. And as you can see, he's a second behind Hotel. So we're doing not too far off the pace, but it definitely needs to be faster this lap. And that's not a good start. Caught for a second back, even though it is his personal best. Yeah, that rider just distracted him and all slightly into that next right hander. So you go down the hill into the roller coaster, so that's much better into the first spot. And into the second. Much smooth on the exit. Maybe could have carried more speed for the second part. So it could really open up that corner, but still a good run for the left-hand kink as well. And look at that, he's quickest so far ahead of Fanati. He breaks very deep into the left-hander. Now through the right. Virtually flat out. Use motor three machines. And downhill in second gear. And then first. Going on to the back straight. Look at that. He's three and a half tenths up. Just needs to nail this final set to this patch of it, Dodd, and he could grab another pole. He's starting the prime spot into a very tricky first corner, just like the Saxon ring. Lots can happen into that corner. Because it is ridiculously tight. That's all McPhee goes fastest. Two minute point two. Now let's see what Patrick McDonald does. It's going to be very close to McPhee. It's just faster. But it's not good enough for Polers. It's his teammate at home here. Ron Mir who grabs by ahead of Kinect with Fanati in third. Then you've got Bergamato and McPhee. And McDonald's in the middle of the third row alongside DJ Antonio and Bashini with Anthony rounded out the top 10. And we have Finnish Patrick at the back. So a decent qualifying for Patrick McDonald. Once again in the top 10. That's always the aim in qualifying. But in the race... Is of course the victory.
Uh, so we are looking at a pretty happy grid, especially for Mir after we have an imminent sign of the comeback and grab pole and home turf. Vital for his championship, but Till still pretty happy with eighth. So it's line 50 for the pod. Riders has. What's McDonald going to do in this first corner? He can't do what he did in Assen. He has to do what he did in Silverstone. Be very aggressive and hopefully it'll pay off around this anti cock rise circuit. So here we are revving up the engine, mate, for the light stuff here. And go out for this five that race. That's a good jump for McDonald as well. As he'd be nicking in between the second row, it looks like. Oh, he's break very deep though. Oh, and clashes with Antonelli. But they both survive, which is probably a relief for Antonelli, as he's had quite a lot of crashes recently. But McDonald drops down to 11th. He's lost three places when he expected to make three places at the start. And he's down the inside of the Italian, down the inside of the German. He got held up by looks like DJ and Antonio. Italian trying to do the cut back on McDonald, but he's back up to 8th at least. So he's got Bastianini in front, seems to be held up by Martin, Di Gian Antonio's teammate. Madonna doesn't need a second invitation. Because once again, he is going with the soft front, a medium rear. So he looks to the inside of Martin, he's made a very brave move down the inside of McPhee. And Bullock, what a move from the Spaniard. As all McPhee gets the left hander wrong. That was McDonald by into sixth, into fifth, into fourth. He's got a beautiful slit stream there. Defense the inside into the left hander. So McDonald's recovered well after that start. As he's now just got Fenati. Mirren Connect in front. He goes a bit wide in this sector. Now onto the back straight. Can he get some slit stream off the Italian? He's got Berger, seven tenths of a second behind you, Patch. We'll be getting some weak slit stream off him. And look at Fanati ducking out, making it free wide, is he? Into the final corner, or penultimate corner. He is. Pass Mir next side as Martin's past Berger behind. But Mir holds on. As Ola tries to make this a top four at the end, the opening lap. Ola dropping back to 11th. Very good recovery job. As they are free wide into the first corner, it looks like Fanati's leading. Ahead of Mir, with Kinnett in third. That's what we like to see. Wildcard once again, Romano Fanati coming to play. So I'll do the fastest, I'll not open out the spike. That first corner. Now he's taking down the inside of Kinnett, oh Fanati. Maybe play weird gunner for his team leader, will he? No, they're battling in the championship, aren't they? Of course McDonald's not. Picking down the inside of Mir. That's for what you did at Village in Silverstone. And then the loop as well. I'm not buying all that. So McDonald leads. We're on a very cloudy Aragon, as you can see, overhead. Not seeing far into the horizon. Over the barriers here. And I can call it fine. Marty up to second head of Mir, get out to third head of Mir. Well, doesn't care about the battle in mind for the time being, he's just going to run off into the distance. He's got Fanati six tenths a second behind, Connect in third, and Mir in fourth. It would be a very good result for McDonald, as I believe he'd be ahead of his teammate then. Or level on points at least. No, he would be ahead. And of course, gain crucial points back on Kinect as well. That's well, the main thing, hopefully. We're just not taking points off Kinect and McDonald. Someone else is as well. Although, he's got Slipstream on Fanati. So does Mir. Fanati dropped to fourth. And Mir got the double Slipstream, so he's up to second ahead of Kinect. So is Fanati as well. That wouldn't be a bad race result either. As long as Connect's not on the podium. It does a 2 minute point five. We're actually matching his qualifying effort. As they are battling our girl into the first couple of corners. 
And this race is flying by. Almost halfway through already. McDonald leading. Head of his teammate, head of Canet, head of Fanati. And you got the second group of the likes of Bligger and Martin. Look V. Lashinini. And DJ and Antonio had a little go at McDonald now opening that. Always does that DJ and Antonio when you pass him. Always had a little go back. See if you can make it happen. As that's a very tight left-hander that McDonald is taking. It's not the official track, but it does make it harder for himself. He's got a 1.7 second lead ahead of Kinnett. And for Nartin, third, Mirin, fourth. That's not what we want to see. But let's see if the Sitchin will do its trick and then into the final couple of corners. And see who's crossed the line in second. Because where Kinnett is, that's not a good position. He's two seconds back Ryan McDonald has. Oh, Danilo down from 19th. Venturin not scoring points today. And so is Dal Binder for 25th. They'll be caught up in that incident. Run all breaking very deep. Once again, ties hardly worn with the medium rip. And Smith up to third ahead of Fanati. Is he up to second though? Has Kinnett held on? That's vital information for the final lap he has. That is not good news. Seems like Kinnett has worked out how to make a gap and hold on for second. And maybe Fia and Fanati are just, me and Fanati are just dropping back as well. And Kinnett gaining on McDonald. It's a second back. At the end of that previous lap. Well, just cruising in the lead. He's done this a couple of times this season. Maybe cruising too much in this race. He's going to like he wants to end this championship now. Pass him at Donald, he virtually has. Go downhill through the roller coaster. Once again, maybe not open up that corner too much on the exit. We tried out on the final lap. We're still getting a decent run through the left hand kink. And he's building the gap again to Kinnett. And then it's like me and Fanati are battling for third now. We got over the kink. Down here into the right. And the left. These corners do flow a bit like the Mazzano first sector. Now he's got a two second gap to connect behind. So this is looking good for McDonald to head on to the final lap of this race. Into the final four rounds of the championship as well if he holds on. He would have won half the races this season as well if he wins this. Would have won four since the second half of the season out of five. So all these victories are just making up for that silver zone slip. As mere head of Fanata, they are battling for third in each side. Go on to the final lap. We connect 1.7 seconds back. I think McDonald can breathe easy on this final lap. But well, it doesn't slow down too much before that final back straight. We've got Fanatin third ahead of Mir. And again, if Mir loses out on the podium, McDonald will be ahead of his teammate in the championship and the main title rival to connect. So that's pretty good incentive for Mir to get ahead of Fanati. Right, Italian has stuck around this race. You haven't said that often this season. He normally qualifies well. He's been a qualifying demon this season, Fanati. But has not backed them up with the race results. He's doing it here. Making a stand. And I open out my teammate. That's probably what McDonald's thinking. Go through the left hand kink. Using all of the track. Once again, taking the tight line out the roller coaster. Got the change to that, did McDonald? He's got almost a three second lead ahead of Kinnett. You will not have to nip behind heading into the final couple of corners. 
he can relax around this circuit where of course he won the Red Bull Rookies Cup last season now he's winning now he's going to maintain his chance of winning no 2 3 championship make it two championships in a row of course he won that title suspicious circumstances last season hopefully it end the same way with Kinnett but he is a few points closer to the Spaniard now after his seventh victory of the season fantastic ride from McDonald once again this season he really has come back in the second half of this season a changed ride a 4.3 seconds in the end ahead of Kinnett with Mia further second back in third he does grab that podium ahead of Fanatu Martin fifth but again just have a teammate in seventh then we've got Bastianini eighth Ota ninth Antony tenth McFeen eleventh DJ Antonio twelfth Loy thirteenth in 14th and Ramirez in 15th growing the final point by 51 thousandths of a second ahead of his fellow countryman Gravera we finished Patrick at the back so in the championship Madonna is up to second level and points for his teammate but due to more victories as ahead of one mere and is the main title rival for Arnold Connett heading to the final four rounds of the season but he's 35 points behind the Spaniard he can just about Afford to finish third in every race now. Connect and still win the championship. Something will have to happen to Connect for McDonald to win it. With Fanati in fourth, over 100 points back out of the run, it is now just a free horse race for the championship. With Martin in fifth, further down, Oto up into the top 10 head of D. Gen Antonio. And in further back, got Arenas up to a 30th head of the Thai Rider. In constructed standings, Honda, KTM, Mahindra, Peugeot. There's yes, yeah, very important victory for McDonald. Just a shame that Kinnett finished second ahead of Mary's understandably discussing things with him. That's yes, perfect weekend for McDonald once again. Reputation rise. And now begins the fly array races at the end of the season. The triple header with Japan, Australia, and Malaysia has. Patrick McDonald, he's won two races in a row, as you can see, three times this season. Can he make it three wins in a row for the first time this season and really put Arnold Kinnett under pressure? Find out next time. Southwatch, and I'll see you then.